What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and you guys are here with Justin. So guys, are you thinking about getting a tattoo sleeve but you're not sure what you want, you know, how things are going to be placed or how the tattoo sleeve is going to look overall? Well, you're in luck because in today's video, I'm going to be going over all my tips and tricks that I've used into creating and planning for my own personal sleeves and then how you too can use these as well so you are best prepared for your next upcoming sessions. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I do want to welcome you in this channel. We pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related, my experience, opinions, and certain topics, but most importantly, guys, my journey towards getting amazing tattoos and working towards an awesome bodysuit. Now, I got some phenomenal news. You know, shops are opening back up in my city and you know what that means. Yeah, a tattoo is coming very soon, something you do not want to miss. Brandon has been killing my lower leg, but we are so excited to hit this upper thigh because we got some big things planned for it, so you do not want to miss it. Go ahead, subscribe, and join the community so you don't miss any other future content as well. But let's get to today's video, guys. Let's go. So planning for a sleeve can be very stressful and very time consuming. Trust me, it takes a lot of research and you gotta be very patient because then you want something and then you think you want this, you think you want that, and then you finally come to a decision on what you kinda want, but then you're unsure of how you're gonna fill that sleeve up with certain pieces or how they're gonna fit. And again, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over all that and to kinda how I created my sleeves to where they've almost come out exactly how I've wanted them to because I've done all these steps and all these little tips and tricks into creating it and planning ahead of time. So when I walked into that shop, I kinda had a good understanding of how things fit. Now, all you really need for this is internet access, a printer, scissors, tape, some kind of photo editing software, but we are also gonna be using PowerPoint, Word, Canva, you can use those as well, and then some imagination. Now, if you guys are unsure about what kind of sleeve you want, I would recommend you go check out this video right here. It'll be linked in the description, but that's a video talking about all the sleeve types, and it's a good understanding to get a, you know, which kind of sleeve do you want? Do you want like a quarter, half, three quarter, full, 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 high key or high chi, however you say it, and then you can kind of get an understanding of what you want to then better prepare yourself for planning ahead. So that I would recommend you uh, go check out. I will be doing a future video talking about themes and styles to kind of get a better understanding on which ones I like, which ones I kind of don't like as much, and then which ones are good, the pros and cons to each. So now there is one method that I'm gonna talk about and get into. We are not gonna be using it, but this is a very popular method that artists use a lot in today's time and age, and that is using some type of photo editing software. Now you can definitely see them use this on their iPads, their computers, and you know, the popular ones that a lot of people use are Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Procreate, and these ones are great because you can do so much with them and create such amazing designs that are unique, custom, but at the same time, these programs do take a lot of kind of practice and can kind of getting used to. There's a lot of things you gotta learn. You gotta learn about feathering, masking, layers, blending, curves, and so much more. And then also these programs do tend to cost a lot of money either on a subscription base or, you know, an upfront fee. And, you know, a lot of people like, you know, you and I or average Joes that just want a tattoo aren't going to learn all this just to kind of want and see what a tattoo looks like. But then you got other programs that are good. They're usually free and, you know, or they're usually accessible that a lot of people really have on their computers. And these ones are more like PowerPoint, Word, Canva, or any other type of free software that you only really need to do is kind of resizing and or cropping an image. So we're gonna be using that because I know a lot of people usually have that and it's very easy to use. Unlike, you know, Procreate, Photoshop, and Affinity Photo where you have to really learn about how to use them to really get the best outcome. So I have Affinity Photo on my computer right now. I'm currently learning how to use it on designing, you know, sleeves, tattoos, and all that. I also plan on buying an iPad very soon and downloading Procreate, learning that program as well. And then once I get really good at using these programs, I will release videos to you guys on how to use them, how to design yourselves, if, especially if you wanna take that kind of route. If not, you can always contact me one-on-one -on -one and we can probably do something and work together and create a design for you. But again, for the most part, we're gonna stick away from those type of uh, programs. Now we're gonna get into the first steps of planning for a sleeve and then we're gonna work our way through it all. So the first step that you wanna do is figure out what type of sleeve do you want? Do you want a quarter, half, three quarter full, 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 high chi. You know, it depends on what sleeve you want. And then you gotta figure out what type of style and theme you wanna go for. Now this is optional and I say that because 
it is your body. Everybody has their own things. They can get any different things they want on it. You can mix and match, do whatever the hell you want. For me, I like, I kind of like to keep a sleeve to a single kind of st style and theme. It just looks better. It flows better. And it ultimately just looks better in the long run when you have one cohesive thing. Now, you know, again, if you're not sure what kind of uh, style you want, you gotta go online. Your best bet is to go on Google or Pinterest and kind of look up sleeve designs and sleeve styles. And you can kind of get a better understanding. Do you like American, geometric, Japanese, realism? The list goes on. You gotta figure out and you can see what you gotta feel for what you like then you kind of figure out what the theme you want is like do you want to go for like a realism religious theme like this sleeve i have do you want like a, a roman and greek mythology sleeve like this one i have and then theme on my leg a, a kind of egyptian style theme so you got to figure out what themes you want because then it really helps in kind of going forward and finding the pieces that you want to start adding onto it and creating it so now that you kind of have an idea of the theme the style and what type of sleeve you want. You kind of go into now and search for the reference photos that you want to use. Now this takes quite a bit of time just because you want to be thorough in what you want to add to it. You kind of want to look for uh, different pieces. And what I like to do is I like to go onto Pinterest, Google, Instagram, you know, Facebook tattoo pages, and just do a lot of research. Look up at a lot of different type of uh, tattoos and that style and that theme and start saving them. And what you really wanna look for also is other people that have sleeves like that and kinda of like nitpick and see what they have, what works well, like is there a face that goes nicely on the shoulder? Is there another face that goes nicely there? And kind of choose from different people's uh, sleeves on what works well, save them, but also kind of get a better understanding too of what is commonly out there and how you're able to change it in a way to make it to where it's kind of like unique to you. Cause a lot of things again are overplayed. A lot of people have a lot of different stuff, like the same styles, everything kind of looks the same, but it's up to you to make it just a little bit different to make it to you. So what you're gonna wanna do now is upload all those pictures into the program that you're gonna be using for you know cropping and resizing. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is now to start cropping those photos and take out any excess stuff around the picture that you don't think you're gonna use. For example, let's say I have my Zeus right here and there's a lot of filler behind it. I only want the face. I'm gonna only cut out and remove all that background and all that excess and just keep the face. And then I'm gonna go and start resizing it and cutting, kind of doing and copying this image a couple different times and making different sizes of each. So when I print it out, I have a couple of different sizes to play with and I'm kind of able to experiment and see what works well what may fit nicely and what may not. Now I do have a tip for you guys. I would recommend that you start out with the main pieces that you want first and kind of really want on you and the main focal points like my Hercules, that would be one that I would make sure to print out first, the Zeus, my uh, Julius Caesar, the lion, like all these ones I would print out first to kind of get a good understanding. And then you start printing out the smaller ones that you still want, but you know, aren't as, they're kind of like the secondary piece, like, you know, the uh, Colosseum that I have, the Acropolis, all those little ones that you know are fillers, those you can add on and like print and like do later. Once you got them printed out, you're gonna wanna cut around any excess that you couldn't do in the crop because a crop you can only do so much in that square and you're gonna wanna cut around the rest to really make it kind of conform to your body better. And then also I got another tip for you guys and that is once you are doing this, make sure to do a couple incisions and straight cuts into the paper it'll make it bend better along the skin so you can kind of get a better understanding of how it will fit and contour to the body. Now that you have a couple of them printed out in different sizes, you're gonna wanna start going onto the body and start placing them around and seeing what fits, what looks good. And you know, this might take a little couple times, you know, in terms of trial and error, going back, printing out and resizing them. But once you start getting a better understanding of how things fit, and how things kind of contour to the body, you can start to like kind of tape them to the body and see now where it goes and how things fit so they're not falling off and you can kind of add on to it and see a nice visual kind of representation of how the sleeve is gonna look. Now again, this is gonna take some trial and error, it's gonna take some time to rearrange stuff, but once you kind of get a good idea and you like how it's looking, what I recommend you do next is you go ahead and you take pictures so you kind of have a kind of a piece to go back and look at and judge because then once you take it off you're going to take the tape off 
I want you to save those reference photos because you can use them down the line still. Now you have an idea of how things work, but say you find another reference photo that you like all of a sudden and you wanna add on. You're gonna do the same thing again. You're gonna go ahead and print out, resize them, crop it, and then you're gonna cut around it and then you're gonna go and you're gonna add it on and now you have another different kind of sleeve and again, you're gonna take pictures of it and then you're gonna see and compare to the other pictures that you had of other designs on the sleeve and you'll kind of compare and judge which one you like better. You can also get opinions on friends. You can bring it to your artist, maybe see what they think as well. And you know, it just helps in terms of, you know, visually representing what you have and kind of can go with on that sleeve. Now, you know, again, this isn't gonna be a foolproof kind of a uh, technique. When you go to an artist, they may have different ideas, but this is kind of like the techniques they use when they put the stencil on. They judge a piece on how it contours to the body, what will look good. So this is in a way how they do things, but uh, you are obviously doing it to less of an extent and you know an ability in terms of you know being a professional so guys i want you guys to go ahead in the comments section and let me know what do you do in terms of preparing or planning for a tattoo do you just go to the artist and tell them what you want and, and have them plan it out do you kind of do what i did and like you know print it out and plan it out yourself get a visual representation of what it looks like or do you kind of just imagine it in your head and hope it comes out and turns out good i would love to know if you have any tips that i've missed any tricks because i'm sure anybody reading those comments would love to know as well and to do them themselves. Next, I want you guys to go ahead and like the video and subscribe so you can participate in my weekly giveaway of the Sanaderm sheet. I have increased the size to 10 by 20, which is great for large pieces. And again, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, send a screenshot to my Instagram, and on the Monday, I do a live giveaway at 7.30 p.m. I also wanna thank my Patreon subscribers. Thank you guys so much for uh, you know supporting me. If you guys wanna do that as well, if you haven't, go ahead, it'll be linked in the description. You guys get some added benefits that, you know, I obviously don't offer here. Finally, I just want to say take care later and Justin out.